Once upon a time, there was a person named Isaac Newton. Now he was very tired and he decided to sit under a tree. Now he sat under an apple tree. Now he fell asleep. After some time, an apple fell on his head and he woke up. Now this incident actually hit him a lot. What happened is that he started thinking, why did the apple hit on my head? Why did that actually come down? Why didn't the apple fly in the air or float in the air? Now the apple could fell down and it could fly in the air. Why did it come down? Now he was greatly hit by this incident. And now he started observing things. Now he observed that everything after some time come back to the earth's surface. Now even if he threw up a ball, it comes down after, a, so after some seconds. Now why did that happen? Now he started thinking that there may be something that is pulling everything down towards the earth. Now is there actually anything that is pulling down everything towards the earth? Well, he tried to research on that and finally he found out that yes, there was actually something that was pulling everything towards the earth. Well, the earth actually has this inside itself. Now the earth has a pulling back power known as gravity. Now the earth itself ha is having something inside it that is called gravity that actually pulls back everything towards the earth's surface. Now not only this earth, well everything in the universe, me, you, everything, each and everything in the universe has this power to attract things towards each other. But then the thing is that the earth's gravity is quite large and the gravity which we have, that is the attraction power towards others is very less. Now, everything is pulled down by the Earth's gravity. Just now I told you. Take the example of a pen. Now, if you throw a pen, it will finally fall down on the Earth. Take the example of a ball. Now, take this example. Here you can see that the laptop is placed on this table. Now, why isn't this table flying up in the air or floating up? Well, the reason is gravity. Because gravity is pulling this magazine, this laptop, this chair, everything towards the Earth. So, the reason is Earth's gravity. Now we know what is gravity. Now gravity should be measured. We can say that the force that the earth exerts to pull everything towards itself is called gravitational force. It is coming from the word gravity. So the force with which the earth attracts the body towards its center is gravitational force. Now there must be something by which we can measure this gravitational force. Otherwise how will we know where is the gravitational force more or where is it less? Well, the measure of it is actually called weight. So weight is the measure of force of gravity on an object. So we measure gravity by the term called weight. Now how will we measure weight of any object? Now we have to know how will we measure weight of any object. Now you are very familiar with the term weight. What we think as my weight is 50 kg or your weight is 40 kg or things like that. But we have already studied that we do not say, but we have already studied that we say that my weight is 50 kgs, but that is actually my mass. So what is weight actually? We will tell you now. Now weight is the gravitational force of the earth. Just now we have studied that. So we can say that weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. Well mass is what we were saying, my mass is 50 kg, your mass is 40 kg and things like that. And this acceleration due to gravity is actually the force exerted by gravity. So weight is actually mass, that is m, into acceleration due to gravity, which is represented by the letter g. So how do we calculate weight? Well, weight is mass into, that is m into g, which gives us m. So now you know how to calculate weight, that is mass into acceleration due to gravity and we represent mass as m and g as acceleration due to gravity. So weight is m into g, that is mg. So now there must be unit of weight also. Now you know everything that we calculate has a unit. So what will be the unit of weight? Let's see. Well weight is m into g, that is mass, of mass into acceleration due to gravity. So what will be the unit of weight? It should be unit of mass 
into unit of acceleration due to gravity. That is what we are multiplying to take out weight. Or if I take the international system of units, so the SI unit of weight should be equal to SI unit of mass into SI unit of acceleration due to gravity. Now, what is the SI unit of mass? The SI unit of mass is kilogram. That is represented by kg into SI unit of acceleration due to gravity. Now, what is the SI unit of acceleration due to gravity? It is meter per second square. Or we can write it as So now can you tell me what will be the SI unit of weight? Well, kg into meter per second square gives us the unit called Newton. Now this is represented as capital N. So the unit of weight is actually capital N that represents Newton. Now instead of SI unit, if I take the CGS unit of weight, so what will it give me? CGS unit of weight will be what? CGS unit of mass into CGS unit of acceleration due to gravity. Just replacing the word SI with CGS. So the CGS unit of mass is actually gram. And the CGS unit of acceleration due to gravity is centimeter per second square. So the SI unit of weight is actually what? Gram into centimeter per second square. Now this is represented with dime. So the CGS unit of weight will be dime. What is the SI unit of weight? Well, the SI unit of weight is Newton and the CGS unit of weight is dime. Now you know that weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity, that is m into g. So how are we calculating weight? By changing mass, by multiplying it with the acceleration due to gravity. So you can say that ma weight is different from mass. Just by multiplying acceleration due to gravity to mass, we are getting weight. So weight is actually not equal to mass. So we can say weight of the object is different from mass of the given object due to acceleration due to gravity. Now, the mass of a body is always constant. Now, how can I say that? Well, what is mass? The stuff inside your body. So to change the stuff inside your body or to change the mass of your body, I need to add mass to your body or remove some mass from your body. Now, if I'm not doing that, then your mass will be constant wherever you go. Well, mass is always constant, be it the Earth, be it the Moon, or be it anywhere in the universe. Your mass will never change. So if you are weighing 100 kgs on the Earth, you will weigh the same 100 kgs on the Moon. So mass is always constant. Remember, mass does not change. So uh, can you tell me how to calculate the weight of this astronaut who was having the weight of 100 kgs on the surface of the Earth? We'll do that. Well, we know that the weight of the astronaut can be calculated by this formula, where m represents mass, and ge represents what? Acceleration due to gravity on the Earth. Now, to specify Earth, we have given this e over here. Now, the standard value of acceleration due to gravity at the Earth's surface is always 9.8 meter per second square. Now, the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth will always remain approximately 9.8 meter per second square. So now, can you calculate the weight of the astronaut? Well, the weight of the astronaut is what? Mass into acceleration due to gravity. So the mass was actually 100 kgs. So 100 into what is acceleration due to gravity on Earth? Well, it is 9.8 meter per second square that we have given to you. Or, so now multiplying mass into acceleration due to gravity, we get 980. Now, what is the unit of weight? Well, the unit of weight is Newton. Kg into meter per second square actually gives us the unit Newton. So, we found out the weight of the astronaut on the Earth's surface, that is 980 Newton. 
Now, I have told you that acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface is approximately 9.8 meter per second square. That is a standard value of acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface. What about the Moon? Does it have the same acceleration due to gravity? Well, no. The standard value of acceleration due to gravity at the Moon's surface is 1.6 meter per second square. Now, you will say it is difficult to remember this. Well, 9.8 on the Earth's surface is standard value. We'll remember this. Now, how to remember that the acceleration due to gravity at the Moon's surface is 1.6 meter per second square? Well, you can always say that the acceleration due to gravity on the Moon's surface is actually 1 by 6th of the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface. This is taken. So, always remember that the acceleration due to gravity on the Moon's surface is always 1 by 6th of acceleration due to gravity on Earth's surface. So do you note one thing? Now we know that what is weight? Weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity. And acceleration due to gravity on Moon is 1 by 6th into acceleration due to gravity on Earth. So the weight will also differ in both these cases. So the weight will not be constant on the Moon's surface and the Earth's surface. Now by how much will it differ? Well, yes, it will differ with 1 by 6th of the value. Because the weight of the person on the Moon's surface will always be 1 by 6th of the weight of the person on the Earth's surface. Now this is how we get this. Now you know that the weight of the object on the surface of the Moon is what? mass into acceleration due to gravity on the moon. Now, well, weight is actually mass into acceleration due to gravity. So here we have used that formula only, mass into acceleration due to gravity, but on the moon. Now, we can also write this as mass into acceleration due to gravity on the Earth by 6. Why? Just now we have studied that mass, that acceleration due to gravity on the moon is actually 1 by 6th of acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface. So we have taken that only. Weight of a person on the Earth's surface divided by 6 is actually weight of the person on the Moon's surface. This is what we get. Weight of the object. Weight of the object on the surface of the Earth by 6. That is what we are doing, 1 by 6. So the weight of the object on the surface of the Earth, we had calculated 980 Newtons. Now remember the person was having, or the astronaut was having the weight, or the astronaut was having the mass as 100 kgs. And we converted it to the weight to 980 Newton. So the weight of the object on the surface of Earth is what? 980 so to calculate what will be the weight of that same object or the same person on the moon, we have to divide it by 6. To divide it by 6, see what you get? Well, we get 163.33. Now, weight is always represented by the unit called Newton. So we have put Newton over here. Isn't this interesting? Well, if a person weighs 980 Newtons on Earth's surface, he will weigh 163 Newtons on the moon surface. So you can conclude that weight of an object differs from place to place because weight on Earth, if it is 980 Newtons, then the weight on the moon will be 163 Newtons approximately. That is almost 1 by 6th. Now you know that the weight of an object is mass into acceleration due to gravity. That is m into g. Now, mass cannot be equal to 0. You know that we are already having some stuff inside us. So, mass of myself cannot be 0. Mass of yourself not cannot be 0. So, mass cannot be 0. But if the value of g becomes 0, now suppose acceleration due to gravity is not working. Well, the gravitational force is not there at all. So it can be 0. Then what will be the weight of an object? Let's see. Well, if the value of g becomes 0, then weight will also be 0. Well, anything into 0 gives us 0. 
So that means whenever there will be no gravitational force, so weight of an object will be zero. It does not depend upon the mass then. So weight of an object can be zero when the acceleration due to gravity is zero. Because anything multiplied to zero will give us zero. So mass into acceleration due to gravity, if it is zero, will give us the weight of an object as zero. Now where does the weight be zero? Well, at the center of the earth, the value of g becomes zero. Just exactly at the center of the earth, the weight value of g, that is acceleration due to gravity, is zero. So we can say at the center of the earth, weight of any object will be zero. Well, you cannot go to the center of the earth, but if any object is present at the center of the earth exactly, then its weight is always zero because the acceleration due to gravity that is g, is zero there. So mass into g is actually was mass into zero, that is zero. So weight of any object will be zero in that place. Now mass is a scalar quantity. Now what do you mean by scalar? Well, if I say my mass is 50 kgs, or take your example, say suppose your mass is 40 kgs. Now you don't say that my mass in east direction is 40 kgs or my mass in the west direction is 40 kgs. Well, mass is represented by mass. It does not need direction to define it. Now your mass, we have already studied that mass is always constant wherever you go. So mass does not depend on any direction. So we can say that mass is a scalar quantity. That means it does not depend upon the direction of any object. But what about weight? Well, weight is not a scalar quantity. It is a vector quantity. Why? Because weight is always directed towards the center of the earth. Well, the gravity pulls everything towards the center of the earth. That is why weight takes place. So that is why we'll say that weight is a vector quantity, not a scalar quantity. So what are the differences we notice between mass and weight? First of all, mass is constant. Wherever you go in the whole universe, the mass will re remain same. But the weight is not constant. Because of what? Because of acceleration due to gravity. In our example only, see, the Earth had the acceleration due to gravity as 9.8 meters second square. Whereas on the Moon, the acceleration due to gravity was around 1.6 meter per second square. So due to this change in acceleration due to gravity, weight changes. So weight is not constant. So mass is constant, but weight is not constant. Now what about this? Mass is a scalar quantity. Just now we've studied that scalar quantity means it does not depend on the direction. As mass is constant everywhere, it is a scalar quantity. But weight, it is actually a vector quantity. Why vector? Because it actually depends upon the direction of the force. That is, the uh, gravitational force always is directed towards the center of the Earth. That is why direction is very important when we calculate weight. So mass is a scalar quantity, whereas weight is a vector quantity.